Hey, 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 everybody. How we doing? So lots of stuff going on on my drive this morning. Lots of um, energies, downloads, messages, information. So a lot of my own Q&A that I go through with my guide team. And um, I love it. I love it. The only thing is I can't write things down when I'm driving. So I got home, I showered, and I was about to leave again. And I'm told, nope, you need to sit down and talk about some of the things that have come up through you this morning. Because if it's coming through you, it's coming through others, or it's about to come through others. And perhaps, um, you know, tap, tap and waking things up a little sooner, you may find some different answers. So one of the th first things was um, something happened where it triggered my memory of seeing things come through the sun in the last couple years. So when my sight started to develop, um, sometimes I would see this energy go up and around and then it would literally come down through the sun. Or I would see beings. Um, I call them like the lollipop people because they look like long stems with a big round head, like those little, I um, thought maybe I might have one here because sometimes I'll give them as a treat to the kids I work with, but I don't. Um, like a dum-dum. Why they call them a dum-dum, I'll never know. But anyway, um, something triggered me remembering that. And I think it was something along the lines of, you know, a lot of these CMEs, um, which are coronal mass injections from the sun. And when I've seen any kind of scientific pictures of it, it almost looks like lava exploding, you know, from the sun. So I think it was like the CMEs are disguising what's coming through the sun, meaning ships, dragons, you know, whatever from other timelines, other dimensions are coming through the sun. The interesting thing is that I remember when I saw things coming through the sun, then I realized um, that that was the main gateway and portal into this universe. It was just like a boom, um, had nothing concrete to go with. A lot of these videos weren't coming out. I wasn't doing videos at the time, but you know, a lot of things I'll, I'll, I'll get a message and then I just know the answer and I keep going. And I don't get on here and do videos so that I can prove predictions and what's happening here, what's happening there. Oh, am I right? Am I right? How many subscribers and followers are I going to get? That isn't at all my mission. So then the next thing I hear a lot about is this, oh, there's going to be paradise and heaven on earth soon and blah, 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 blah. And you know, it's like, that's fine, but how do we get from here to there? Okay. How do we stop, drop, sit, connect with the breath, be a part of, of, you know, working with the physical body and the nervous system so that we are aligned instead of always reactive to what life puts in front of us, right? So that adrenal junkie kind of thing, we're always putting out fires, which then led to, um, you know, when something good happens and you're looking for the next shoe to drop. And, you know, that could have been the way your parents were. That could have been like an experiences that you've had. You know, then there's, we've got this thing where everyone wants all this information. Oh, you know, when's the new financial system? And when are the med beds? And what is this? And are the pets going to go? And all these questions that personally I find so completely mundane and irrelevant. And the reason why I do is because my spirit, my higher self, and me of all of it says, I didn't come here and not get all the pre-warnings and then because I didn't get the pre-warnings, I'm going to turn the corner and crash and burn, evaporate and not make it. That's not what we're here to do. All these little mini crash and burns are all lessons that we're learning. So we didn't come here to, to move up to, you know, what people want to describe as this heaven and paradise. I actually describe it more of like massive harmony and balance where more people are vibrating in the love vibration than they are in the fear and all the negativities of the fear. And everything isn't all about gather, 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 hunter, gather. The more I have, the more I do, the more I be. That's all that 3D physical um, sur survival that we have to have. And you can't survive unless you make money and 
you know, you can't move up the ladder in zip codes and in cars and in clothing and in anything if you don't move up the ladder in your job and make more money. This is all like not going to be as relevant, but it's a gradual thing. It's gradual, okay? It's not going to be boom, open the blinds up and now there's this whole new life and this doesn't exist. That's not the way it is. And they didn't bring your pets into your life or the marine life or anything else in order for everyone to not go along with you. So again, as a functional healer and a realist, stop back and think about and feel into why wouldn't these things go with you? And maybe some of your belongings don't go with you, which is why a lot of people are getting into the point where they just want to clean out their closets and get rid of all the stuff, all the stuff that is mounted up, you know, that you really don't need for survival at all. If you actually look at your closet, you're wearing the, you're using the front half of your closet, you open your drawers, you're using what's on top, even if you rotate it, you wind up going back and getting the same shirts, the same whatever it is. Um, I wrote this down really quick because I was leaving. I haven't had anything to eat and I've had two iced teas, so I'm a little caffeinated up if you haven't noticed. Um, so if any of you are paying attention to the energies, you will see it. You will see the plasma and you say to yourself, what exactly is that? If you were to look out over a heated desert or over by a utility pole or maybe above an outside grill, um, or maybe over a skillet on the stove, you will see this energy of heat, this kind of waving type of energy, almost like it's a mirage type thing. That's really what the plasma is. And if you can readjust your eyes, you'll and, and connect with that nervous system and get it to your, the gloss in your eyes will change a little bit so you can see it more. But last week, I was in the car and I was at a light and the energy was bouncing off the asphalt like pop rocks, like colorful pop rocks. And the last few nights for me have been massive energies all over me and around me, swirling, touching me more than just what the orbs would do. So much is going on. And if you just pay attention to it, you'll find that that's a heavenly paradise right here in your 3D. If you take the time to step away from your chaotic day, connect with your breath, connect with the God source, source of, of within you to the God source veils around you and look past the tangible touchy feely stuff you're gonna see into this magical atmosphere. It's a magical atmosphere where the movies can only touch a little bit of it. So if you can feel them and see them touching all over you, it's, it's freaking amazing. So I want you all to just understand what your distractions are in your daily life and Understand like, and take yourself to a place where you can detach from all of that. Whether it's in the middle of a vacation, whether it's in the middle of your day, whether it's getting up early, whether it's going to bed later, whatever it may be where you can have solitude and just practice. And if your nervous system is too hyped up, sit outside and put earplugs in and just allow your body to connect with the rhythm until you can learn to hone in and skill and listen from within versus just the, all the outer sensories that take everything into the brain to compute into an information that you've been told what it is. So if you can unplug from all of that, you can plug into the magical atmosphere. And if you need any assistance, well, my website's always in the description. And you know, we talk about hypnosis and past life regression. So there's all these things that have played out in your world that are stored in this 95% conscious 
of the unconscious because only conscious is what you can feel, see, and touch it in the moment or what's been recent, okay, that can be pulled up. It's the unknown that you want to pull up because there are many, many avenues to find the secrets to open up a lot of these gateways and portals into the magical atmosphere and perhaps less tripping and banging your head and the hard-headed lessons that you keep repeating can become more graceful and more easily obtainable to get to the solutions. Yeah. It's a whole different world, my friends, and it will change your perspective, which will change everything within and without. You'll live in a whole different environment and you will not need to self-medicate and do all these unnecessary things that sabotage what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And don't wait to try to accomplish it. Make the decision to be committed, take the action to make the appointment. And together we'll go on this voyage and it's going to be so much fun. All right. Please like, subscribe, and share. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the algorithms circulate these videos. Each time you comment, it helps it to circulate. So I'm very grateful to those who take the time to say, you know what? I'm going to help her out by hitting like. I'm going to help her out by leaving her a note. It all warms my heart. So, yeah, I want everybody to enjoy themselves and please go to my website and, and uh, cruise along there and stalk me by leaving me an email. All right, much love to each and every one of you. Bye.